Okay, hello there. My name is Tim Fulcher and I'm from ebizforeveryone.com. That's E-B-I-Z for E-V-E-R-Y one dot com. Now in this little video I'm going to show you how anyone can produce their own web page. Nice, simple and easy. I've met a lot of people um, on the internet who get a bit terrified as soon as they think about coding up their own web page. And I want to show you today in this video that it's actually as simple as ABC when you know what you're doing. Now here in my hand here I've got a piece of paper which hopefully you can see okay I think you can and this piece of paper has on it the code that you need in order to produce your own web page. And what I'm going to do is just explain basically this piece of code. If you copy it down it will work for you as well. Now you notice at the top we've got HTML. And that simply stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And what that means is that there is a certain code that we have to put down in our web pages in order to make them show up properly in someone's browser when they access our website. Now I want you to also notice these funny signs, greater than and less than signs, at the beginning and end of things down this page. And what these things mean is these are what we call tags. And the things in between those greater than less than signs are sort of instructions to your browser to make it display the page in a particular way. Now this, this here is all you need in order to start your own web page. So we start off with HTML in those funny bracket things. And then the next line we have is head H-E-A-D, um, which is just telling the browser that we're going to add some information into the head of our web page. And this is information that doesn't actually show in the page itself. It's just various information that might be used by search engines and things like that in order to index our site correctly. So we've got HTML, then we've got head. And the, the next thing we have is title. And what title means is the little blue strip right at the very top of your browser that, is, that has some text in it. And we can change the text that is in at the top on that little blue pencil strip right at the top of the browser, we can change the text and the text that it will display is whatever text we put between where we've got title here and then we've got slash title at the end. Now this slash title at the end just tells your browser that this is the end of the title. So we've got HTML, then we've got head, then we've got title followed by whatever we want to be in the title, and then we've got slash title.
Once we've done all that, we've now finished with the head section. So we then have slash head there. That puts the, type, the, the head part of our HTML document to bed. It's now finished. Okay? So then we have the body, which simply means the body of the page. This is the part which will actually display in our browser or in the browser of anybody that comes to view our website. So we need to put the body tag there. Now as you can see, I've then put some text, welcome to my website, and I've put a h1 tag to begin, and then I've put the slash h1 at the end. H1 stands for heading, and the 1 means the biggest size heading. So this will put a heading at the top of your web page um, called Welcome to My Website. When you've finished with the H1 and the slash H1, we then know we've finished the body. So we take off the body there with slash body, and then you can leave a space, and we have slash HTML. That is all you need to have your web page. Now, I'll hold it a bit closer like that there. Now, what you need to do is to type this in to a plain text file like Notepad on your computer. In fact, I would definitely use Notepad. And when you type this document into Notepad, you then save it as something like my page, M-Y-P-A-G-E, my page, all one word, and then add a full stop followed by HTML, and then save it, and just simply press the save button. Okay, so you might be file save as mypage.html. Now when you've done that, so long as it's in Notepad, that's important, when you've done that, if you close everything down, if you now go to the folder that you've saved it in, you will see mypage.html will show up as a HTML page. So have the familiar Internet Explorer letter E logo attached to it. And when you double click on that logo, your browser will automatically open and it will display the words that we've put here. Welcome to my web page. And you should see the title part that should appear as well, right at the top of your browser in the little blue strip, if you've done it correctly. If it doesn't work quite right for you the first time, then you'll have to go back and try it again. You may have made a mistake somewhere. Okay? So this will give you a basic web page and will introduce you to how easy it is to produce your own website. Okay? I hope that that will have been of interest to you. My name is Tim Fulcher and I'm from ebizforeveryone.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.